Today, we shall present four additional members of the first quorum of 70 to you for your votes. In 1941, five high priests were called to assist the 12 apostles in their heavy work and to fill a role similar to that envisioned by the revelations for the First Council of Seventy. The scope and demands of the work at that time did not justify the reconstitution of the First Quorum of Seventy. In the intervening years, additional assistance to the Twelve have been added, and today we have 21. Commencing a year ago, brethren other than the First Council of Seventy were called into the first quorum of 70, and at present there are 14 in that quorum, including the First Council. Since the functions and responsibilities of the assistance to the 12 and the 70 are similar, and since the accelerated worldwide growth of the Church requires a consolidation of its administrative functions at the general level, the First Presidency in the Quorum of the Twelve, with concurrence from the assistants and the First Quorum of Seventy, have felt inspired to call all of the assistants to the Twelve into the First Quorum of Seventy, to call four new members into that Quorum, and to restructure the First Council of Seventy. You will see that these changes, which are reflected in the list of general authorities to be read by President Tanner, will be 39 total members of the first quorum of 70, thus providing an, a quorum to do business. With this move, the three governing quorums of the Church, defined by the Revelations, the First Presidency, the Quorum of the Twelve, and the First Quorum of Seventy, have been set in their places as revealed by the Lord. This will make it possible to handle efficiently the present heavy workload and to prepare for the increasing expansion and acceleration of the work, anticipating the day when the Lord will return to take direct charge of His Church and Kingdom.